How's it going, boys and girls? This is Andy, and I'm back to be here, back, back here at the Valley Nature Center. I want to welcome our parents. We probably have some parents in the audience, and we're, and we're glad that you're also here with us as well. Today's segment, it's, it's a three-part uh, series, if you will. Our third segment, we're going to be talking about photosynthesis. Now, the reason why we're talking about photosynthesis, if we reference back to the plant, plants are autotrophic. They make their own food. But we want to discuss a little bit more in depth on how exactly they do that. But before I, we dive into that, have you ever had a chance to reflect and think to yourself, what's the closest star to Earth? Hmm, what is the closest star to Earth? Well, this star is found in the main sequence and this star starts with the letter S. Have you guessed it quite yet? The sun is the closest star to Earth. And the sun is so vital because it's a stimulant. It stimulates everything from the water cycle, the life cycle, nitrogen cycle. It stimulates, it stimulates everything. So as we move forward, I'm going to introduce a key vocabulary. It's huge. You guys ready? Here we go. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Say it with me photosynthesis now check this out photo means light synthesize means to put together now what do you think these plants and these trees what do you think that these autotrophic organisms are doing to put together to survive well we'll jump into that photo means light what type of light sunlight can you see the correlation from sunlight to photo, photosynthesis? And we'll jump in there. So, if you go back to the plant, plants are green. There's a green chloroplast and a green uh, chlorophyll in the cells of a plant that traps, what do they trap? They trap sunlight because sunlight is a key ingredient to the survival of a plant. So, also in uh, some of our other sections, we, when we walk around through nature, we don't necessarily always see the roots in the soil, but the roots play a vital role because the roots, what are they absorbing, boys and girls? They absorb, you said it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it together. Roots absorb water. You're absolutely right. They absorb water. But if you want to be a little bit more in depth, not only, do, do, not only do they absorb water, they also absorb nutrients. You're absolutely right. They absorb nutrients. So if you've got sunlight plus water, what else do you think they have to synthesize? What else do you think plants have to put together to create its own energy? What do you think, boys and girls? What do you think? What else do they have to add? Well, let's think about it. When you go back to parts of a plant, where do you think plants absorb gas? They have to absorb gas. What type of gas do you think they're absorbing? In fact, what type of gas do you think they're releasing? So let's go back to the first question. What part of the plant absorbs carbon dioxide? You're right. The leaves, the leaves absorb, they take in carbon dioxide. So let's write that down real quick. They absorb carbon dioxide. Everyone, do me a huge favor, take in a deep breath and breathe out. What you're releasing is carbon dioxide something, an ingredient that plants need in order to survive. So, photo means light, synthesize means to put together. So what do you think these plants are putting together? They're putting together sunlight, water and nutrients from the soil, and carbon dioxide. They use those three ingredients to create what's called energy. Energy known as ATP that is found in the cells and the mitochondria to be more specific. So. This is a formula. This formula, sun, light, plus water, nutrients, plus carbon dioxide, yields to create two things for us. Boys and girls, do me another favor. Take a deep breath in. 
the air that you just brought in was oxygen. And then when you release, take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. As you release out, you're releasing carbon dioxide. So we've already discussed carbon dioxide, but what are we breathing in again, boys and girls? We are breathing in oxygen. We're breathing in oxygen. So guess what? Plants, they synthesize, they put this together, and then they also create a byproduct known as oxygen, and they release it out into the atmosphere. So speaking of that, do you think plants are vital to the survival of, of, of the human existence? The answer is absolutely yes. Spend some time, spark an interest. Mom, dad, let's go, let's go get a plant, the Valley Nature Center, at Lowe's, wherever, and have an opportunity to, to plant and grow and help them help us. It's a win-win. Now, real quick, let's, let's, finish this, this, uh, let's finish this formula, if you will. Sunlight is the main ingredient. Photo means light. Synthesize means to put together. What are they putting together? Sun, light, water, carbon dioxide. What, what is a byproduct? What do they produce? They produce oxygen and just one more thing. They also produce energy. They produce energy. They produce energy. Plants need to make their own food so they can survive. They are autotrophic because they make their own food. How? Through a process known as photosynthesis. I want to thank you for sharing some time. And as you guys reflect on hopefully one day soon, you'll be able to have a chance to plant and, and incorporate some of the key vocabulary that we covered today from leaves to the stem, to the roots, to absorbing sunlight, natural light from the sun, um, from absorption of water, and the, the intake of carbon dioxide so they can release oxygen and produce energy, also known as ATP. Boys and girls, my name is Andy once again. Thank you for tuning in and we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much.